So here's the bonsai I'm going to use to make live again to sit into my tank and look like a live bonsai. So this video is just going to show you how I go about doing this and I think it's going to look really really good once it's completed. So here's the bonsai I've been drying out for nearly six months and it's about time and it's ready to start prepping to fit into my tank nicely. So things you're going to need to do this is obviously something like a bucket so you can hold it over and just break all the soil away from all the roots and get it all nice and clean. All cleaned up, ready to sit in the bucket for around about four to five days. The next step is now with the bonsai tree which I have dried out. It's been soaking in water for about three to four days and now I'm going to boil it. It's really got to make sure things like this is completely dead so it doesn't contaminate the tank. I've also got a little rock here which what I'm going to do is place the tree onto it, not quite sure how yet, something like that, so this will act as a Before bite. I do any of this, I'm just going to pop these into a pan and boil them for about an hour. Not 100% sure if you'll see it, but you'll see the water's quite tanned. That's where the, it's soaked out of the um, bonsai tree. So the bonsai is just there and the rock completely been boiled for around about an hour. So let's go ahead and start prepping this. So we've got some super glue. And we're just going to dot it around on here. Everywhere I feel I want this bonsai to sit so that is actually quite a bit and just keep it there for a little while just like that just make sure you don't get any of it on your hands it will take a while to just start to set, but once it's set, it'll be firm and fish safe. So guys, this is the next morning now. So this bonsai tree is completely stuck to the little bit of rock I've got here. Completely solid, not going to move, not going to go anywhere. I'm quite happy with the way this is um, planned out, but like I said, what you want to do is once you've got this glue just leave it for at least a day or overnight just to really set. I've got my bowl of water here with a moss ball in it. So the moss ball is what I'm going to cut up and place them around the bonsai tree to give it a live bonsai tree effect once it's in the tank. So all you need to do this is obviously a pair of snips or scissors, have a towel ready, Obviously your bowl, water and moss ball, your glue and you're ready to go. So let's get started. The moss ball will just cut quite easily. As you can see, just cuts really, really nice. And here, you can just sort of break it apart get the sort of bits you you want, you want some smaller bits and you'll see it as it just comes along it all starts looking right so this is exactly how we're going to want this to look and I think it's going to look quite good you know little bits like that just don't be afraid just get it on the twig and once it's on you'll see what I mean it, it, it just all starts looking exactly how you want 
obviously this will be glued but if you look at that it is starting to look like a live tree again a little bit tedious but we got there in the end so I don't know where the lighting you'll be able to see but I've put some moss ball coming up around here and just dotted it around so it's going to look and imitate exactly what well not exactly but pretty much what a bonsai tree will look like there it is in the tank looking absolutely amazing you're going to get little bits of um, hard bits where the glue is but the moss will start to grow and wrap around that and cover it the fish seem to like it they're investigating it but all in all I think it looks lovely just got to scape it out a little bit see where things are going to go but I'm very happy with that so guys thanks for watching the video I hope I've managed to help you out if you want to recreate your own live bonsai to sit into your tank I'd really appreciate it if you could give this video a big thumbs up and if you really liked it, hit that subscribe button and I'll catch you in the next one.